Everything I do, I do it with a passion. If I gotta be a bitch, I'ma be a bad one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how I create this nice blue smoky eye look. If you do enjoy this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, please go ahead and hit that subscription button. That way you'll not miss any more of my uploads. I already primed my lid and I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer just to use as my eyeshadow primer today and of course I set that now I'm going in with this LA girl blue pencil highliner pencil and I'm just using this as a base before I apply the shadow now I'm going in with the Kylie Royal peach palette and I'm taking that blue shadow that is called Royal from that palette and I'm just packing this on right over where we place that blue eyeliner pencil and that blue eyeliner pencil just acts as a base so the color could come out more pigmented and it will last even longer I'm going in with this shadow right below that blue and I'm taking this purple shadow as our crease color and I'm just blending this out to go on top of this as my transition shade I'm going in with the beauty treat blush palette and I'm taking that hot pink and I'm going right above that purple shade that we put in our crease and notice how I'm blending these together making sure it is very diffused and nothing is ashed and everything looks seamless I'm just packing on some more of that blue shadows because we would have lost some when we blend our crease now for our lower lashes I'm going in with that same blue shadow from the Royal Peach palette and I'm just smoking this out so I'm just packing this on I did apply the blue eyeliner from LA girl underneath my lower lashes then I pack on this now to further smoke out the look I'm going in with this same purple shade underneath the blue shadow that we used earlier and I'm just smudging this underneath my lower lashes to open up my eyes some more I'm going in with this NYX flesh tone liner I will leave the name to it down below for lashes I'm using some of my favorite pair of eyelash from forever 21 and I just stuck them together just to get the look that I'm going for for foundation I'm taking my black opal foundation in nutmeg and I'm just using this all over my face now I'm highlighting my face and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation in amber and I'm just using this as my highlighter today and highlighting the areas that I would want to bring forward now I'm going in with this elf contour brush and this is so Good for blending out your concealer. It just blends out effortlessly. Look at that. Wow. Alright, so I'm just using this just to blend out my highlighted areas. Now going back over the edges of my concealer, I'm just taking my foundation brush. Now to further brighten up my highlight area because whenever I do a smoky eye, I want it my eye under eyes to be super bright so I'm going in the, with this radiant cover concealer just to brighten up the eye now I'm taking the this contour palette from forever 21 and I'm setting my highlighted area so I want to set that in place if you do want a detailed highlight and contour video please to check my description box for that link down below I do have a detailed one showing you step by step exactly what I do now I'm taking this MAC NW45 press powder and I'm just setting the areas of my face that I did not apply any product Now for contouring, I use the CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer and I'm just using that just to chisel out my cheekbone area and I'm making just a fishy face just to further define my cheeks and going against my 
hairline and yeah just blending this together ensuring that when it, our face doesn't look like a mask whatever is left on the brush I just use it as my nose contour and just put that there for baking I am going in with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm just baking all of my highlighted areas and further choosing out my cheekbone area further defining them some more for blush the same shadow that we used for eyeshadow earlier i'm just using this as my blush and i'm only applying this to the apples of my cheek and taking it up in my contour area now i am removing the excess such a buttercup setting powder and yeah just brushing this away with a health blush brush For setting spray, I'm going in with the NYX setting spray, and this is so. This is in the matte formula, and this is so good, guys. I really love it. Now, for my highlighter, I'm going in with this Forever 21 72 eyeshadow palette, and I'm taking that rose gold eyeshadow from the palette and I'm applying this to the areas that I highlighted and as you can see this is super pigmented guys yes I already have full lips so I'm just outlining and of course highlighting it some more on my cupid's bow and of course pop those cheekbones and showing that yeah I'm blinding you <laughs> now for lips I'm going back in with the same blue lip liner and I'm filling in my lips and yeah i'm going in with the same shadow that we use for our lips and this is actually my lipstick today and i'm just patting this on all over my lips you can definitely leave the lips matte as this and yeah or you can go in with the ombre color and here is some pics of the lips leaving matte now i'm taking this la colors light blue lipstick i'll leave the name down in my description box so i'm just using this just to pack in my center part of my lips and yeah creating a nice ombre effect lips and this will actually be the tutorial guys i hope you like it please go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you do everything i do i do it with a passion if i gotta be a bitch i'ma be a bad one